to every organization, group of people, or every home. There's always somebody to lead. Anyone that take the lead is who we call the leader. So join me today as I'll be taking you through the topic leadership. Who is a leader? What does it take to become a good leader? And what is leadership? My name remains Adeyemi Emmanuel and this is my POV, my point of view. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment and I'll be here to respond to your comment. Thank you. I'll be right back. Welcome back. A leader is somebody that is leading by example or guiding, teaching people how to do things together to achieve success. Are you a leader in your community, in the place, in the place of work? Are you a leader in your community, in the place of work, or in an organization? How do you lead people? How do you relate with your followers? Are you an authoritarian or are you a friendly leader? A good leader is somebody that listens to the followers, that seeks advice, and never see any of his or her followers being senseless or be unreasonable. Every good leader reasons with the followers and that gives them edge and take glory for the success of the collective. So, to be a good leader, you must be somebody that listens, somebody that, that loves, and somebody that cares. A guiding leader is aimed at resolving issues at any point in time. A guiding lead is follower, is subject through a difficult time and show them the way on how to do things properly. A good leader doesn't see his or herself in everything. He see he or she see sources and see the happiness of the people. We have other leaders uh, the master of all, authoritarian, autocrat. These are the leaders that believe that they know it all, they can do anything. They do things in their way, either right or wrong. Most of the time, they get it wrong. And they never admitted that they are wrong. Any leader that they never admitted that he or she is wrong is a bad leader. No one is mountain of knowledge. So we learn from each other. Leader learning from followers. Followers learning from leaders. That's how we can achieve success. Leadership doesn't even end in an organization. Leadership comes to the community and right to the house in our home. Father, how do you lead your children? How do you lead your own? Are you a father that cares? Because a good leader cares. Are you living a lifestyle that you want your children to emulate? They say a good leader is someone that leads by example. The kind of life you are living today, will you want any of your children to take after you? Don't forget that those children are seeing whatever you are doing. And whatever you do today, serve as a sample to them. Because you are the one they believe most. They believe whatever their father does is right. Is the right thing to do. Do you bully your wife? Do you bully the children? Do you bully people around you? Your children will grow up to become bully. Anyone that cannot lead a family successfully is not qualified to lead a group of people or lead a nation. To be a good leader, it starts from your home. How do you treat your wife? How do you treat your children? And you mothers, you are also leaders. Do you lead your children against their father or do you lead them in a way of God? That they will have the fear of God and do the will of God and also be good samples to their followers. Because you are a leader today doesn't mean you will remain in that seat. Somebody was there before you and somebody is still coming 
from among the people you are leading. Do you know when your followers are happy and they are happy to be around you at all times? That shows you're a good leader. Some leaders, when they come around, everybody runs around, everybody from their faces. Jesus Christ eat with his followers, they discussed together, they sat together, they did everything together. Do you see this opportunity of your leadership to extort others? Because they are voiceless, there's nobody to defend them, there's nobody to report you to. You think you can rip them off? A good leader is somebody that fights for his follower. He stand, he or she stand by the follower, fight for their right, defend them. Because most of them are voiceless. Most of them have nobody to run to, they have nobody to talk to. Whenever they have problems, they have challenge, they run to you because they see you as a leader that will always stand for them in time of trouble, in time of problem, in time of problem. I want you to ask yourself this question today. How have I been leading? Just sit down in your own one day and ask. Have I been doing things right? Have I been leading right? Have I been doing it right? How have I been leading my people? Don't eat what belongs to your follower because nobody to ask you. Don't eat up what belongs to them. Give them the, what they are entitled to. Those people you are looking down on. Do you know if you don't pass through them, your children or your generation will pass through them someday? Or they may not pass through the same set of people, but your children and your family or your loved ones will definitely pass through some other people. The way you are leading people today, the way you are treating people, will you want your family or any of your children to be treated the same way? When your former leader was getting it wrong, were you not the one fighting, shouting, you and you will not take it? Now is your turn to lead. How are you leading? And you followers, you are not left out. Because some followers are fond of frustrating leaders. If you're a follower, if you like to frustrate your leaders, it will happen to you when you become a leader. Don't plan the downfall of your leader. If you plan the downfall of your leader, someone will plan for you as well. The law of karma. Learn leadership acts from your leader, from somebody that is leading you today. If he's getting it wrong, try to take note of it so that when is your turn, so when is your turn to lead, you'll be able to correct all the errors he or she made. Your leaders may be making some mistakes knowingly. Please call the attention of your leaders to it. And if it's not listening, you take note of it so that you will not commit the same mistakes. You will not make the same mistakes when it's your time in your turn to lead. Leadership is a topic that we cannot finish in just a few minutes. But in this few point of mind, and from my own point of view, I want to believe that you must have you must have gained something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I remain a DM Emmanuel. Till I come your way next time, be a good leader to your followers. Thank you.